Hi guys, today's video is a bit different from my usual content because this is my first product review so give me some feedback in the comments and let me know how you liked it and if you want to see more content like this in the future. We all know racing cars is expensive and even sim racing can crash your bank account. I'm a sim racer for almost 20 years now and invested a lot to build the rig of my dreams. But what if you don't want to spend a fortune for your rig or don't have the space for a full racing simulator? Here comes the Vivo racing wheel stand for G29 and other racing wheels. With its price of around 90 US dollar, 90 euros, it's one of the cheapest wheel stands you can get on Amazon. Vivo sent me this package for a review, but I'm not biased and I will give you my honest opinion if it's worth the money and if such a budget wheel stand really works. According to its description, it works with most Logitech and Thrustmaster wheels and pedals. I did an additional test and also tried it with my Fanatec equipment. How that worked, you will see later in the video. First I had to assemble the wheel stand. This process took me about 40 minutes because the instructions are very poor and that's something you will read in almost all the comments and reviews about this product. But there is a very good instruction video from WeWar on YouTube which I will link for you in the video description below together with a German and an English Amazon link to the product. With the instruction video you can easily do it in about 15 to 20 minutes. All screws and tools you need are included in the package. Finish the Vivo stand looks quite solid for its price. Everything is built of metal and the quality is decent. There might be small imperfections with the paint, like small stains, but hey, if you want perfection you would have to spend multiple times as much. You can adjust several parts of the wheel stand, like its high or the angle of the steering wheel and pedals. Doing this is really easy, just release some of the screws. There are several pre-drilled holes on the wheel plate and the pedal plate, so you just need to put some of the included screws through it and mount your hardware. This is how the finished stand looks with my G25 on it. If you need space in your room, you can fold the whole thing by releasing those two screws. The included shifter mount can be placed on both sides but can't be adjusted any further. Once wheel and pedals are attached and the screws tightened, they are fixed to the stand and won't move or get loose during your drive. As I mentioned before, I also tried to attach my Fanatec equipment. Sadly the Vivo stand doesn't have holes for the triangle pattern Fanatec uses to mount their wheelbases onto a rig. So if anyone would be crazy enough to put a direct drive wheelbase onto this stand, you would need to drill some additional holes into the top plate. The CSL Elite base works because it has two additional smaller drillings which fit on the existing holes. For the pedals I tried the CSL Elite pedals and the Club Sport pedals. Both can be mounted without any issues. Now let's see how the Vivo wheel stand performs in action. For this test I used the CSL Elite wheel and Elite pedals in GT7. I set the force feedback on maximum strength on the wheel and inside the game. So we can test the wheel stand under the hardest possible conditions. As expected when the force feedback kicks in there will be some movement in the rig, but nothing that distracts you too much. As you see even on my high end R seat there is some light shaking, but it is clear the more you spend for your rig, the less flex and shaking you will get. As I said before, this was tested with the maximum force feedback. So during a relaxed drive or with reduced force feedback you won't notice this too much. During my test I easily golded the circuit experience on the Nordschleife. Even I had to adapt myself to a different wheel and different pedal settings. You see, getting fast times with the Vivo wheel stand is definitely possible. Now what's my conclusion? Is it worth it to buy the Vivo wheel stand? And I would say yes, for its price it's definitely worth it. Of course the Vivo stand isn't a high end product and it got its limits. But other wheel stands in this price range will have the same issues or even worse. If you want to get deeper into sim racing and you plan to buy your first wheel, this wheel stand is a good option for you. Also if you already have a wheel and you need a stand that doesn't take too much space but is still stable and easy to put away, you won't regret your choice. Thank you guys for watching this video. 
don't forget to check out the links in the video description and also hit the like button if you like this video and also the subscribe button for my channel so you won't miss any future uploads.